Good morning, kiddo kids, and welcome to your Tuesday, May 2nd. Today happens to be National Harry Potter Day. Calm down there, Miss Watson, we know. Uh, but anyways, uh, the the Harry Potter facts that I gave to you guys last year, actually, you might remember I talked about the fact that Haggard was not just played by Robbie Coltrane, but actually had an animatronic head sitting on top of a larger body double for a good number of scenes because he just had to be huge. And to be honest with you, CGI is just way overused anyway. Uh, so the late, great Robbie Coltrane played the role and played it amazingly. But an interesting fact, it was almost played by Robin Williams. It was only for the insistence of J.K. Rowling that the entire cast be British actors uh, that it wasn't. So, I mean, we had two amazing options there. I'm glad that it went to Mr. Coltrane, but at the same time, the late, great Robin Williams would have been a wonderful choice too. Another really interesting fact is that Dobby, although primarily CG in a lot of scenes he had to be, there was an actual Dobby practical effect doll, like a real-life Dobby uh, that sits in kind of a Harry Potter museum right now. Um, but it's kind of cool to realize that people had to make these things physically along with having that CGI extra effects to kind of bring them to life, which is a, a cool little extra. Uh, another really fun fact is that King's Crossing is a real place. It is a rail station that has an actual platform labeled now uh, platform nine and three fourths that you can go do a little photo op at. But a, a fun little fact is they've had to take down this like half cart in the wall uh, because enough people were actually slamming themselves into the wall uh, trying to, to get into Hogwarts Express for, for real there. So that uh, Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So uh, ouch, maybe not the best way to do things. Well, knowing all that, let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag soon. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy kids, let's talk about food for the day. Well, we happen to have a turkey sandwich, along with soft tacos with salsa, vegetarian beans, mixed vegetables, apple, and milk. Well, you might be wondering what's going on with that weather outside. Well, it's much of the same. We're looking at a fair amount of cloud cover, um, a larger chance of rain today than yesterday. So I would say uh, a good chance we're going to get a little bit of precipitation coming down. Definitely some cloud cover, but looking forward to a for the first time for a while, not a wet weekend. We're looking at some uh, some sun coming out and the temperatures rising through the weekend. And that is a fantastic little extra I get to tell you. But to get that amazing payout, we got to get through that slog of that low pressure sitting above us and keeping the moisture right overhead. So, you know, the plants are going to enjoy that, but the cloud cover is here for the next few days. Now, let's talk a little about Kendall Canines, that really popular segment everybody seems to love. Uh, Zadie right here wants to share with her you her puppy and dog, or sorry, her kitten and puppy. Uh, and we're going to have to go through the rating system and say that her doggo is absolutely a woofer. Uh, and we're going to give her plus 25 points for the photo of a photo of a dog because, you know, that's photoception right there. Anyways, let's finish out our uh, announcements of the Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete, compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. I well, hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday. Good luck on that test. And if I don't get a chance to see you, remember to stay colorful Kendall. Oh, and a side note, we didn't do the joke of the week yesterday. I missed putting that little segment in, so I'm going to throw that in tomorrow. Just so you know.